keep the pool safe. It's always there. That's a giant deal to me. And I want to tell a quick story, if you don't mind, of an experience that I had years ago. And this is a really big deal. I want everybody that's ever going to be a lifeguard to hear this story because it'll change the way you guard. And I was in there and I was working and, and teaching a class and in comes a, a, a gentleman. He had a swimmer with him. And he said, John, I want to let you know that my son is really important to me. I'm like, okay, sounds good. He goes, no, no. He says, I don't think you understand. My son is really important to me. I said, okay. He says, let me tell you one more time. My son is really important to me. I said, I, I think I'm missing something. He says, I think you are. Let me help you. I used to have a daughter and a son. And I still would had the lifeguards been paying attention when somebody dove on my daughter's head. And he says, now I have a son and he's really important to me. And I think that's one of the most serious things I've ever heard in my life. I said, I totally understand what you mean. Wow. Now, make sure when you have somebody like Art, you know they're on the ball. You know the people are going to be on the ball, the people he trains. That's extremely important. And when you have somebody beside you like that, that's fantastic. Grace, let's talk about the programs that you offer and the passion that you have for kids to help those kids. And so they come through an incredible teacher and teaching experience. That was one of the big deals with my kids is I want them to have incredible teachers. Because I, I remember when I was a kid, I, I started off with an incredible teacher. And then I went to a, a, a system that didn't have that. And man, did that change my future. So you give it these incredible lessons. The kids are coming out. They're having, they're motivated. They're excited. They can't wait to come back. Tell me about what you do. Um, so I kind of just fit whatever need that the person I'm working with needs. Um, so if it's a kid, you just, you be bubbly. Do you keep them excited? You work with them. You do what, you know makes them want to come back or if it's a kid learning technique or even all the way to the adults who are extremely terrified to get in the water you work with them slowly so you kind of are just putting everything together to work with each person independently with them one-on-one -on -one and just seeing where they can go and pushing them enough for them to get better little by little uh, from my perspective i refer to swim swim lessons as drown proofing by having children learn safety and also learning the skills, you're actually drown proofing that person. Absolutely. So, um, so that it, kind of works it, hand it in hand back. with your what you're doing, Art, right? That, that's fantastic. And, yes. and Jess, you bring the center in a way that you, you synergize everything. You bring energy to everything you do. Right? That's just who you are. You can't help it, right? You got energy. You got enthusiasm. So the energy, when you go in there, is positive from everybody. So that's just right seeping into everyone. And so you'll start to see like brand new programs that nobody's ever been seen, uh, has, has seen, right? And Jess is like creating these all the time. Fantastic. So how do you nurture your staff there beyond yourselves? How do you get them to stay as part of you when you're not there, right? Art, this, the place is still safe. Grace, when you're not there, your instructors are still teaching and right. How do you ever take a moment off Jess when you're not there? And I, I guess you somehow empowered your staff because it, you, whether you're there or not, the same programs are running in the same way. How do you get so that we, done? We set really clear cut expectations as well as goals. So we see what the expectations are with the need of the facility at hand, as well as the staff at hand. And then we take that into account and we navigate. We're really flexible with our methods, but we definitely reach our goals. And that's the expectation that I have for my staff as well as they have for me. So they know if this is the plan at hand, we're going to get there in all different ways with different help because art is strength in one our safety area. Grace is great at our lesson plan with it all together. We're better. And that's all I keep saying is that I'm not one person. I can't do it all. Art can't do it all. Grace can't do it all. But the team, we set clear cut goals. Our expectations are there and we know what we need to do day in and day out. You have a very hardworking, professional, dedicated staff and, and every single one of them is right in line. And it, it's a great thing. And, and, and you could tell they're also happy. They're enjoying themselves working there. Um, so what do you look for in a good hire for you guys? 
great communicator, definitely someone that can speak out um, with patrons, learn someone wants to be a people's person. We need to learn who they are. The more we know about a patron, the more we can help them and prevent saves from happening. Because I always tell the staff, we're not making saves unless absolutely medical emergencies are occurring. We are preventing them at all time. So folks, if you have somebody in the area here that a young person that might want to work with this staff, right? Th this is a great place to have them involved in because now they're going to get real guidance instead of, hey, just go sit out there and, and good luck. They're actually going to get a lot of guidance, a lot of instruction, a lot of support from this highly professional management team. So this is a great place that, that you know, when people